All right, the stupidity continues. So at this point, we've got the Z80, and I've got SRAM, and I have manually strapped into the SRAM a couple no ops, and then a reset zero, which tells the processor to jump back to address zero. And so if we bring it out of reset, so again, we've got M1, so this is the first machine cycle of an operation, read from memory, and then I've just strapped the memory output enable, and so it's fetching zero. This is actually from the SRAM, it's not just the resistors anymore. Um, then on the memory refresh cycle, um, you know, nothing happens. All right, next machine cycle, M1, read memory, address one, also has a no-op in it. All right, so we get the idea. And then, so I got, you know, a couple no-ops in here, all right? Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So we've now gone to address six, right? Four plus two. And in the SRAM, in that location, I have manually loaded 11000111, which is the restart zero, reset zero, um, RST zero. Um, and so we are now M1 reading from memory at address six, and this is the operation we're getting. Um, so this is a three machine cycle, 11 T state. So it's 11 clock cycles for it to do this, and it'll end up jumping back to zero. And so there's a three, four, five, one, two, three, right? And like, who knows what the hell's going on here? One, two, three, one. And so now you can see that we have an M1 read from memory at address zero. And so now the Z80 has now restarted back at PC zero, and it's ready to run the program all over again. Um, but here's the interesting part. Uh, the restart zero operation does not reset the refresh register, the R register. And so now when we're doing the memory refreshes, right? So we got refresh memory. Um, you can see this, this number has kept going. Um, and so this is where like displaying the R register during the refresh cycles is going to be a little confusing because yeah, we're currently on address three fetching the note, fetching the no op. But um, on the third T state of the no op, we're doing a DRAM refresh on address um, eight plus two, so that's address 10. And whatever happens to be on in the SRAM at address 10 is what's getting displayed here, um, which the, the data bus will go away when um, the Z80 starts controlling the output enable. Um, but this is pretty silly. All right, so there's address five, there's address six with the reset, and away we go back to the beginning, <laughs> over and over. I guess I could actually, if I if I touch this pull-up resistor on the 555, it makes the clock run at like 60 hertz, and so we can now see it um, execute this um, six operation busy loop and have the refresh register go crazy. All right, and so actually it stopped on six, so we can go through that. And we're now back at the beginning, but you'll notice the refresh register is something else. So that's, that's where we're at, which is um, sillier and sillier as the farther we go. So I guess the next thing to do is uh, we need to actually like wire up some of the control lines on the RAM so that the Z80 can control the RAM. And then I need to decide what I wanna do about this refresh thing because I don't think we want to display the refresh cycles because we're using static RAM here, which means that we really don't care about DRAM refresh. But thanks for watching anyways.